I think we recognised in each other a similar kind of aesthetic, um, particularly, I guess, um, a, a shared politics um, connected us. So we wanted to, to make theatre about the same kinds of things, uh, and it, it kind of grew from there. Yeah, and we, we, have, we, we have an affinity and, and a kind of impulse to make work that, um, that you know, didn't necessarily um, wasn't necessarily reflected on on the main stage at the time, but we you know we felt you know really passionate and 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 we were really determined to tell particular types of stories and we didn't kind of care how it was going to happen we just sort of made it happen um, and, and the, it's kind of evolved from there but um it you know it became pretty evident quite quickly that we collaborated really well together that we trusted each other that we didn't kind of interfere too much in in what the other was doing, but you know, it, it you know, we, there's a great sense of kind of respect between us about you are the playwright, it's your words, and I'm the director, and, you know. But but at the same time, there is lots of uh, examples of our work where we really don't know where one ended and yeah. the other started. Yeah. Yeah. And when you um, you were mentioning before the teacher that that, that you you were well, both of you were saying that you were joined by particular kind of themes and politics. Can you just give us a quick snapshot of, of, of what that is? I guess it's a commitment to, well, it, so far it's been a commitment to, to Australian stories, as diverse as they are. Um, and it's, I think it's, it's, a, it's a commitment to, uh, to the other, to people who are on the outside of, of, of power. Many of the plays um, that, we've, that we've produced together have, have had children as, as central protagonists, and I think children are the most the most vulnerable in this country, and um, and I think I think uh, stories about them are particularly kind of interesting. Yeah, but we'll we'll try and voice stories that are not often heard. Yeah. you know, and and we'll try and give a platform. Um, and we were also really interested uh, in I guess the the, the form that a, a political work will take, and so you know we've. <laughs> We've been ambitious in wanting to make political theatre in a country with, um, that considers politics bad matters. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so that's kind of meant that our um, it's forced us to become far more imaginative mm -hmm. um, and uh, and ambitious, I guess, in in cloaking mm -hmm. um, politics in in the potency of. The theatrical. So, can you t can you talk a little bit about Mortito, which is the play you're here to develop? We were actually working on uh, a play called The Dark Room, which was uh, produced by Belvoir Downstairs in 2011. And I was living in Sydney at the time, attending rehearsals, and flicking through the Sydney Morning Herald, and I found an article that was exploring the kind of the the, the cocaine, the, the consumption of cocaine in Sydney, which is copious. Mm. Um, and the, the article explored the kind of the, the trade route. So most of the cocaine uh, that comes into Sydney comes via Mexico from various various um, places. So you know it could it, it may have been grown in Peru, it may have been grown in Bolivia. Um, and I, I found that that piece of information really interesting. I kind of knew it, but I was really interested in exploring the kind of trade route of cocaine, how it ends up. You know, in the clubs of, of, of Sydney. Mm. Uh, and so that was the starting point, and Belvoir and Playwright in Australia commissioned, co commissioned the work. Uh, and it was also really exciting as, a, as an idea for me because I knew that I wanted to work with Letitia on the project. Letitia's Argentinian and Spanish speaking, and it seemed like a, a kind of a really wonderful conduit to kind of explore. Uh, her background, but particularly her language, uh, and so what we've attempted to do is kind of incorporate um, incorporate a lot of Spanish language in, in, in the play. Yeah. And so, how's that gone in the in the, uh, in the rehearsal over the last? It's just, well, it's, it's been challenging actually because you know, um, and it ties into a broader conversation about what kind of actors are out there that we can access who do have a different cultural um, background. Um, so, you know, part of the challenge has been finding a Spanish-speaking um, actor who's, who's Latin-American, who is also Latin-American, um, you know, and even, I mean, ideally we would also have someone who was specifically Mexican, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, the pool keeps getting smaller and smaller. Um, 
but you know, it, it's it, it's thrilling. It's thrilling. It feels like a work that um, is speaking, you know, immediately to a globalized world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and and it's through kind of you know what seem to be quite obvious um, gestures like you know, putting a, a character with a different language on stage. Um, but actually what it does is it just kind of seems to crack the whole thing open mm. and suddenly we're, we're nowhere and everywhere and here mm. <laughs> all at once. Mm. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's great. It's great. And for you as a, as a I'm not sure because I, I haven't read it all here tonight, but how, how much Spanish language there is in it, I'm not sure, but it, it is I was wondering if it's difficult for you if, as a bilingual person, so you have no problem understanding English or Spanish. Um, is, is it hard to gauge how much, or is that going to be part of what happens over the next? Well, few it's years? not the only language in the play. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of German. <laughs> a hint of Serbian. <laughs> it's a hint of Serbian. It's very global. <laughs> That's been challenging. I have a, a, a German-speaking um, sister-in-law, so I've been consulting with her for the, for the German language. Uh, but I, you know, for me, it's impossible. It's impossible to watch the scenes um, that are in Spanish mm -hmm. because, of course, they make perfect sense to me. Yes, it's um, thinking of it. It is, but it's, it's, a, it's a cheat. Yeah. I mean, for me, I, I, I relish it. I love and relish the sound of it. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got scenes where a character is speaking English and another character is speaking Spanish. And for me, it's that's a different experience to to to, to that which Letitia's experiencing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Good luck for the reading. Thank you. Have a good experience.